World Conquest 105, Black Wolf Mercenary Company, Concrete, and Vehicle Conversion Base. Down here in Fleck Crossing and Viper Pit. Here's our central bunker base, built for us by the lovely Big BL. We thank them for all their hard work. We have our petrol production on the left, all of our concrete, concrete and coal refining production. The left three are advanced liquefiers, then we have six that are basic liquefiers. They were all basic liquefiers in tier two for mass concrete production. The one suggestion I have is that we should have put um, we should have put a permanent small train uh, with a liquid container just next to the advanced liquefiers because we've made way too much heavy oil and it would have been very, very beneficial to have a small train there uh, to fast pull it. Here are the petrochemical plants along with the, uh, the beginning of the pipe spaghetti. These are for enriched oil production right next to the coal field. Uh, we pipe the heavy oil from here over to here, put some sulfur in. Here's the coal field. Here's the petrol production, petrol storage with the three harvesters. Petrol being next to the rope is very nice, very convenient for people that can take petrol they needed. Heavy oil is stored here in this LTS, goes directly into the engineering center there. We have our two mat facts, we have the two tank factories. Two tank factories was good, I would definitely recommend having two. Uh, next to the road is the ACV pad and the rocket pad behind that. All of the concrete is stored up here, along with a flatbed train to transport it to the material transfer station. We could probably have put the liquid car on the transfer train here. Probably could have replaced one of those cars, so it would have worked. And we also have the basic pad for loves and armored cars and such. I think V used that a lot for uh, A loves. Defenses were kind of a bitch around here. Um, this whole area is a pain in the ass to defend. You can see some of the Moltworth defenses. We have defensive lines here and here. We had some defenses up here. Uh, aesthetic built, built walls over here. All of the overhead pipes. All the uh, rail spaghetti. Here's a quad place uh, pipe that was uh, took a took about an hour to figure out. Here's how we uh, we have the enriched oil here. We have the engineering station for steel production. 144 steel at the end of the war, which makes me want to cry. We have our STD pad over here. The main rail line that 2EDB asked us to build over here, so they could go to Necropolis. Rail going through the facility, very, very convenient to have it right here. Here's the main battle tank pad. Here's where we had train storage, train train loop back up northwest. Here's the main facility from the back. This was extremely convenient to have a, uh, a power plant right here, not hooked up to the main power, so that people could uh, use the crane when they like. Here's the main facility like that. Two coal refineries like that. Tier 3 was very, very coke heavy. I would recommend having a lot of coke production for Tier 3. And in the ravine, down here, we have all of our power. We built six power stations, upgraded them to sulfuric reactors at Tier 3. We actually could have used even more power, to be quite honest. We also could have organized the power a little bit better. Um, we wanted all of the coke running constantly, and we had the advanced liquefiers hooked up alongside the enriched oil production, and we definitely did not need enriched oil for that the entire length of time. Down here we have our uh, MSUP production facility, just very basic. We have water down here. And the scrap port that never was. That's about it. We had defense little lines here, here, here. As I said before, some stuff up here. And that's just about it. World Conquest 105. Sundial lights the way.